Meghan Markle accused of stealing Mark Cuban private jets. On ABC's Shark Tank, multi-billionaire Mark Cuban offers guidance to wannabe business people every week. Now that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are stepping away from their positions as working senior royals, the shark has some advice for the newlyweds. Cuban thinks the couple will have the opportunity to amass an insane amount of money in their new endeavors. On Harry and Meghan, the royals in crisis, the upcoming TMZ and Fox television program, Cuban stated, I think they are the new Obamas as long as they stay real, as long as they limit their ventures, and don't attempt to sell anything and anything. They will be free to do whatever they want to do because of their valuable brand, according to Cuban, who added that they will be living the dream. Barack and Michelle Obama have made millions of dollars since leaving the White House through speaking engagements, writing, and even a Netflix agreement. According to the Financial Times, the couple reportedly made more than $65 million from their joint book agreement with Penguin Random House. Michelle Obama's debut book, Becoming, was the best-selling book of the year. A book by the former president is on the way, according to certain experts, Prince Harry and Markle may make much more money. Jonathan Shallot, a celebrity agency and chairman of the London-based Inter Talent Rights Group, told the Associated Press that the Sussexes are 100% more valuable than the Obamas and predicted that they may build a billion-dollar business. The Obama family is not royal. They do. Nevertheless, not all agents concur. According to David Black, CEO of the David Black Agency, a deal that approaches the Obamas is not likely. Yet, he claims that any book payment would be huge. Outside of the publishing industry, companies like Netflix and Disney have already shown interest in collaborating with the Sussexes. In 2019, Prince Harry revealed plans to work with Oprah Winfrey to produce a mental health-focused series for Apple TV that will air this year. Who wouldn't be interested in working with them? asked Ted Sarandos, Netflix's chief content officer, in an interview with the British Press Association. Harry and Meghan are tremendously marketable, Cuban stated in a preview of Fox and TMZ's Royals TV special. I wouldn't even wait for them to pitch if one of them were on Shark Tank. I would say, I'm in. These can be sold for a lot of money, so whatever you want, certainly. For them, with them, and around them, developing products and projects would be incredibly simple, according to Cuban. Barbara Corcoran, a fellow shark, concurs with Cuban. Corcoran tweeted on Wednesday, in Harry and Meghan's attempt to withdraw from the spotlight, they've succeeded in making themselves more newsworthy than ever before. And hello at McCuban, you know who to call if you need a second shark to invest in that venture. According to Forbes, Markle presently has a net worth of $2.2 million, the majority of which comes from her acting profession. According to Forbes, Markle made up to $85,000 every episode of USA Suits. In contrast, Prince Harry is said to be worth about £30 million, or $39 million. This is largely because of the inheritance he received from his late mother, Princess Diana. In a new film, Queen Camilla wears a thick necklace with a nostalgic touch that is rarely seen. Before World Book Day, Children's Laureate Joseph Coelho spoke with Camilla, the Queen Consort. Her Majesty stunned in a vivid blue dress for the event. Queen Camilla and Joseph Coelho recently discussed their love of reading in a video that the royal family published. Camilla discussed Black Beauty, one of her childhood favorites, and emphasized the need of reading. The more books you read, the more you'll learn about various locations, civilizations, and lifestyles, Camilla advised Joseph. On hashtag World Book Day, the Queen Consort sat down with a UK laureate to discuss a shared love of books, the value and delight of reading in childhood, the royal family wrote in the caption for the video. Camilla wore a royal blue dress with long sleeves and a full skirt for the event.